Hello. Hello, Erin. Ah, morning, Joey. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. How do you feel? How's New York? Um, I just got back last night and I'm freezing. <laughs> oh, very cool. So we're going to talk about MTV's The City, correct? Yeah. All right. So for anybody that hasn't seen the show, can you tell us a little bit about what it's like? Um, well, it's my best friend's spinoff. Her name's Whitney Port. She was on The Hills and she's just moved to New York recently. So I sort of, you know, help her out, give her a place to crash and, um, you know, we meet a couple of girls on the way. She works with Diane von Furstenberg and... We meet boys and go out and have fun and fill in the blanks. <laughs> All right, very cool. Okay, so we'll go from there. You give her a place to crash. I have a question about uh, your apartment. Yeah. It seems like throughout the season, a lot of people are hanging out at your apartment. Have you? Did you ever feel like, I don't know, maybe kicking Whitney out for a second? You guys always seem to get along, but, you know, somebody's always in your space. No, I mean, she's one of my best friends. Like, I'm, I'm happy to have company there. It's, I, I just moved into my own apartment. Uh -huh. It's been a year now, so... I miss having roommates. It was really nice to have her. Okay, so speaking of, of roommates, are, are you still living with Allie? I know she moved in later in the season. Um, no, no, no. She found her own place. Oh, okay. So throughout the season two, this might, I don't know if this is a little insensitive because I know you and Allie are good friends. Uh, throughout the season, she was accused of being too thin. Did you ever think she was too thin? Um, you know, I'm not in the modeling world. Uh -huh. so my perspective is completely different, but I know that she works all the time. And she's such a gorgeous girl. Like, she really is. Clearly, she's she's very thin, but she's beautiful. Yeah, and she's such a sweetheart. Like, I adore her. So. And you guys are still really, really good friends? Yeah, I love that. Okay, because also, uh, you might have had a little bit of a confrontation with her boyfriend. Um, You know, I don't know why, because Adam and I both adore Allie. We're both on Team Allie, so I, uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm unsure where that confrontation or why it even came up, but yeah. He was a little aggressive with you. You don't hold any negativity towards him? Uh, no. I don't like to be negative at all, in general. <laughs> no, you do seem quite a bit like the peacemaker. Yeah. But there are also characters on the show like Olivia, which... Is she really the way she's portrayed on the show? Because she seems quite a bit uh, catty, for lack of a better word. Um, you know what, Joey? I honestly, like, don't, I don't hang out with her. So uh -huh. I don't know. I, I don't go to work with Wit. And, like, we've only hung out a couple times the cameras are around. So um, I think that... I know as much as you do about her. Yeah, well, see, uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is I remember uh, Whitney being invited to a dinner party and she brought you along. And I sense quite a bit of tension between the three of you. So I'm, I'm curious, you know, if there's any other, you know, back history between you and Olivia. No, no back history, but that was an extremely uncomfortable dinner party. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's good enough. We'll take that. <laughs> How about, um, let's talk about Whitney's boyfriend, Jay, for a second. Yeah. Do you like him for Whitney? I do. I like Jay. He's a great guy. You know, I don't think that either one of us are trying to settle down and get too serious with the boyfriend right now. We're both uh -huh. young and, you know, Whitney just moved to the city and, you know, I mean, even though I've been here a couple of years, like, neither of us are trying to get wiped up or anything. <laughs> yeah. See, Jay seems a little bit, uh, I don't know, like he wants to play the field a little bit. He runs into a couple of exes and he's out on tour with his, uh, with his band, Tamarama. So it leaves, you know, the viewer a little bit concerned. I mean, I'm concerned as well, but I, I guess I'll tune in and see what happens. See, yeah, this last episode, uh, the band's going on tour, and Jay just kind of walks out on her. Well, you haven't seen the finale tonight. You gotta watch I know, I know, but you can't give us anything. You know what? I'm such an asshole. I haven't even seen it yet either. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let's talk about your life for a second. Are you still dating Duncan? Um, You know, I'm, I'm just being 24, and living it up and having a good time um you know the same as before like i don't really want to tie myself down mm -hmm. um in any in any direction you know whether it be career or friends or you know or whatever so i'm just trying to learn who i am and you know make some mistakes and hopefully grow from them yeah see because you were into duncan for a bit and then jr shows back up I don't know what I'm doing, Joey. I'm 24. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having fun. <laughs> I, I, I just find it interesting because both of them kind of, you know, they make it clear that they're into you and then you just kind of leave both of them hanging. I mean... <laughs> you know, one comes back and then the sparks fly and then the other comes back. Can you, can you, can you give us, like, who you like more? Oh, God, that's so impossible. I can't answer that. Is that mean to ask? No, not mean at all, but... <laughs> JR is my first love, and Duncan was the, you know, the next guy that I actually, like, loved just as much as JR, so they're both 
amazing people, but totally different. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you can't spill anything for tonight's season finale. Um, you know, well, since I haven't seen it yet, I don't know what happens with the rest of the cast. Uh-huh. Uh, but Adam and I have a little bit of an awkward run-in. Uh, okay, okay. Something extra to look forward to tonight? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's wrap it up with this. I have a couple of fun questions for you. Good, I like that. I read somewhere online that your father's a member of ACDC, true or false? True. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it was fun. I had an interesting childhood. <laughs> Very cool. All right, one of your all-time favorite songs? Uh... Emotional Rescue, Rolling Stone. I had a feeling, just because you seem a little bit of uh, an emotional person, why? Do you have a, sentiment, a sentimental attachment to that song, to anyone, or why? Uh, well, I just like the way it makes my hips move. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who's your favorite designer? I know you're interested in fashion as well. Um, I love Manoush. They have some really great stuff. Very cool. So on the show, too, you're uh, pursuing a career in, I don't know, being a stylist? You know, to be honest, I'm just trying out everything. I'll say yes to everything once, well, you know, to a certain extent. But uh, I just want to try everything and see what fits and what doesn't. I feel like that's the best way to really find what's right for you. Okay, so for now, where does your career path stand? What are you looking into? Um, well, I'm still at One Model Management, and I really love it there. The people are great, and I get to do a lot of fun jobs. So, um, but uh, I'm just sticking with that for now until, you know... The next thing comes along, I have no idea. Have you thought about modeling? You're stunning. Uh, oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't think I could deal with all of the... It's just so much pressure. Yeah, they don't get too much slack, huh? Yeah, yeah. God bless Ali for dealing with it, but I don't, I don't think I, I can hack it. Yeah. All right, well, the show airs tonight. Tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. Season finale. Are you, are you excited? Are you super thrilled? <laughs> have you gotten a green light on the second season? Yeah, we're going to start filming at the end of the month. Very cool. Very cool. Congratulations on your on your current success. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Aaron. We really appreciate it. Yeah, you too, Joey. Take care. Bye-bye.